Survivors of violent acts are often left with constant reminders of the trauma they've endured. My next guests have helped hundreds of people redefine their scars by creating another powerful mark. Their mission to help the survivors of violence heal through the art of tattooing. Healing Inc. was started in 2016 when eight tattoo artists journeyed to Israel to help survivors of a deadly shooting. They used their gift of art to show survivors a new way to look at themselves and to once again feel comfortable in their own skin. Since then, Craig and Zach have pledged to utilize the power of tattoos to ease the physical and emotional pain caused by trauma and violent acts. Please welcome Craig Dershowitz and Zach Hunter to the TAM fam. Thank you both for joining us. Um, Craig, you've witnessed some emotional transformations from survivors. Describe what that feels like for you. It all goes back to someone who told me they used to wake up every morning and see their scar and it would ruin their day and now they don't. And I think of that every morning that I wake up because I can't even imagine what they've gone through. Mm. So it has made me feel, one, that I'm able to give back and do just a small piece of good work in this world, yeah. but also realize just how lucky and blessed I am. Wow. Zach, you've experienced it from both perspectives, from the heart and wanting to help others, but also being a person who identifies specifically with what some of the people you help go through. Yeah, absolutely. As someone who's faced trauma like myself, um, I'm always able to relate to these survivors who have experienced traumas unimaginable um, to the common person. So, um, you know, when I found out about this organization, was able to get involved, it obviously touched a lot of my heartstrings because I've been tattooing since the age of 14 and it's completely defined who I am as a person. It's changed my life. So being able to give that to someone else who's endured these awful traumas and watch it change their lives completely just through something that I love, mm -hmm. it's unimaginable and I'm glad that I get to do it. We talked about your help with people who experience acts of violence, but you also help cancer survivors. Absolutely. Tell me about that. Um, so sometimes um, women experience you know, breast cancer and they're no longer, there's, there's two things that we do every morning. We get dressed and we look at ourselves in a mirror. Yeah. And a lot of those times those people are not comfortable with what they see anymore. And those scars that they have, they didn't choose those scars. They didn't choose to wear those scars. Tattooing, let's be honest here, is a scar. Mm -hmm. it's, defi it's defined as a scar. Yeah. But the difference is a tattoo is a scar that they get to finally choose. So it's giving them control of their bodies back. Mm -hmm. It's giving them back the control to say, I choose this scar. I choose to look like this because that cancer, they didn't choose that. Right. Or that, you know, the bomb that went off, they didn't choose that. The shooting that happened, they didn't choose that but they could choose this. Mm, that's amazing. <laughs> Zach, I, I mean, you know, looking at both of you, and, and we were joking in the break about how you dressed in your suits because <laughs> you wanted to really bring it for the Tam family. You look amazing. <laughs> Getting to the heart of this, we know that people judge others, the color of their skin, mm -hmm. kind of skin they have, for when sure. people have like our guest today, you know, skin diseases. We, we make so many assumptions mm -hmm. about people, even with tattoos. You make assumptions about people. What have you learned from this experience? It's a wonderful opportunity to show people the heart of tattoo artists mm -hmm. and that this is a new art form that's helping people. And it's just wonderful to say, this is something no one else has been able to do and we have the opportunity to give back. Don't judge what you're seeing with people like Zach and myself, more Zach. Uh, <laughs> you know, there, there's, there's, a, there's a soul in there, you know, there's a right. wonderful soul in there and they're doing something because of who he is, because of who I am, that others wouldn't be able to do. We were offering a healing that others wouldn't be able to offer exactly because of how we look. And for so many years, you know, the narrative of people that are heavily tattooed has been that of a criminal right. or a thug so when older generations or you know, even people that were raised by the older generations mm -hmm. would see someone like me, someone like Craig, someone heavily tattooed, the initial thought process is that person is most likely a criminal, mm -hmm. prison, you know. And that really is the modern you know, reaction to it because Absolutely. we know ancient um, history shows us that tattooing culturally, whether it's in Africa or in the Mayan civilization, this has been a part of society. It's mm -hmm. only recently that these monikers associated with it 
have taken over. And we talk to so many people that, um, you know, they don't feel comfortable getting tattooed because, oh, well, my parents yeah. or my school or my this or my that are going to judge me. But at the end of the day, it's your body, it's your skin, yeah. and we're able to finally change the narrative of people that are heavily tattooed yeah. because a lot of us are not criminals. We are not thugs. We aren't gang members. We're just people who enjoy yeah. art on our bodies. Yeah. Some people choose it to be on their face. Craig, what do you hope the overwhelming message is uh, that, that is conveyed to people when we do a show like this, the skin you're in? What is the overwhelming message you want out there? The message to me is it's all about personal agency. Mm. Our bodies are so important to us. How we are perceived, how we perceive ourselves. Our skin is literally the first thing, the first um, impression that we make on people. And I want people just to be aware of what that is and that there is an opportunity through tattooing in other ways to take back, to take agency mm. over yourself, mm. how you're perceived, and to live with that part of you forward. Well, congratulations on the success, but more important, thank you for what you're doing for other people. Craig and Zach, thank you so much.